A group of residents in Perth is taking photography to new heights. They've created their own probe that will take pictures of the Earth from high above the clouds. CTV's Kate Eggins was there for the launch. There's precious cargo housed inside this box, and now, after months of planning and three weeks of assembly, finally, the great balloon chase is about to begin. I was really excited last night. I was like, wow, it feels like Christmas as I was going to bed. A group of residents in eastern Ontario has created their own space probe. The winds will carry this helium-filled balloon into the clouds and beyond. As it rises up, it's going to reach nearly 30 feet in diameter as it reaches 100,000 feet at target altitude. The digital camera housed inside this protective box will snap a photo a minute on the ascent. Eventually, the balloon will burst and its load will come tumbling back to Earth. Hopefully, we're going to get some very good pictures from up there where the sky is completely black. You see the stars even during the day. Um, there's basically no atmosphere up there. It's down to about 2% of the air pressure down here. It's about a tenth of the way to where the space station orbits. And with the winds on their side, the balloon took flight, as did anticipation for the coming photos. I've never seen it, any balloon that big, and it's kind of cool that it's going to go into space and we're going to get to see all the like pictures and things. Now the tricky part, getting the camera back. Uh, the balloon's away, it's been airborne in about 10 minutes, and Bob has a fix on it at uh, Hog's Back. After four hours, the camera landed stateside in Maine. So there's a small trek ahead to retrieve a camera that's already logged a great distance. Kate Eggins, CTV News, Perth. Now, depending how the retrieval of the camera unfolds tonight, we will have the pictures of Earth for you tomorrow at 6 first.